Welcome to our final episode of Is Feminism Trash? We hope you watched all our last videos. I know you've subscribed, <laughs> you've been liking our videos, and you'll be dropping your comments and your opinions in our comment section. <laughs> so let's get right into today's episode. Okay. Okay, so um, I think we're going to first direct, well, directing to me earlier at like the opposite sex men, yes. how they can be allies in the fight to feminism, mm. what they should do, what they should not do yes. when it comes to feminism. Mm. So I think the first thing will be like men's responses, like when a woman comes and she's talking about, oh, this is her experience, this is a form of sexism, mm. misogyny, or whatever yes. that she has experienced. Mm. What do you... <laughs> What do you think like about like the typical reaction okay 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 so um usually when people um when ladies women um share their experiences as pertaining to um, marginalization mm -hmm. sexism even in the workplace and even like in their daily lives mm -hmm. the um the first reaction is not all men not all men <laughs> yeah i'm not one of them oh. yes. my own is not like that my friends are not like that yeah i feel like that's a very very wrong approach to the whole thing because um somebody is coming to you confiding in you that okay this is what i experienced your first reaction shouldn't be oh you are, you are defending somebody you have no idea about because you don't know the person personally yeah because more often than not they're just talking about their experience or oh i was on the bus and this thing happened yes so you don't even know them and yet you are already by default we are already defending the guy. So I feel like we need to first like step back, evaluate ourselves and think, okay, okay, so this is what this person experienced. Mm? I'm not going to invalidate this person's experience and I'm going to look for ways to support this person instead of first of all denying that not all men, men not always do this. I've not experienced this all my life. I've been 32 years old now <laughs> and I've never experienced this. So it's just, it, it just made, it just, it, it kind of kills the lady a bit yeah. internally that. It makes it difficult yeah, to talk to about it. talk about it. Yeah, mm. talk about it. So it's really hard when somebody is talking about their experience and like, ah, not all men, no. They don't used to do this in our village. And then also. you don't even always have to talk. Sometimes yes. if you don't, maybe you don't understand the experience, you can't relate to it. Just yeah, keep, keep quiet. quiet. You don't come and you don't need to come and say, eh, my friend, all yes. my friends, they yes. don't harass me. Yes. But women are saying they are getting harassed. So mm -hmm. who is doing this? Mm -hmm. And I also feel like we need to check our friends. Like men need to check their friends. Mm -hmm. Because um, there's a lot of things that you experience. You know that these things are not good. But because you know, guy code, and, that kind of thing, you, want you don't want to talk about it. But I feel like we should check our friends more. Like as men, we should check our friends and tell them that, guy, what do you do? doesn't make any doesn't sense. Make sense. <laughs> so they know that, okay, when even if they don't change, but when they're around you, there are certain things that they won't do. Or it's already in their subconscious that seeing, but they don't like this kind of thing, you know, and all this kind of thing. Like, they should call you human rapper, but at least you know that those certain things, those things that, like, gradually, eventually, they're going to come around and they're going to change if your stance is, like, solid. And then another thing is um, centering men. <laughs> centering like, men centering 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 in women issues. It stresses me out. I think was it the last International Women's Day that men were talking? They, they, there was this particular panel where a man about menstruation or something. Yes, and there that was a man was seated on that panel. No, there was no woman. I think there was, it was no, all men. I was, all. I, I, I like okay. How do how would this man understand? I don't even care if you're a doctor, or you're a clinical. You know, you cannot even add like at least one woman to that panel. Even is it supposed to be women dominated? That panel is supposed yes. to be dominated by women because they are the ones that live it. They don't experience, experience it. it. It is their reality, and they need to always have an opinion that hey, I know this. I or do when, this. Or when? Okay, I think men always also feel they need to shut women up sometimes. For example, like that. There was a time that women were talking about the issues they had with pregnancy, mm. like their pregnancy mm. experience, and a lot of men were coming saying, "Don't scare other women from giving birth." Yes, birth. like she's yes. not saying not about things. Why speaking negative and all of that? When yes. they were just sharing their, their experiences. experiences, so that other people can learn and yes. make informed yes. decisions yes. about yeah. pregnancy and all of that. So. You don't you don't have to talk like i said mm. sometimes if you don't know you need to go read mm. or seek people's opinions before you come back to speak about something and support support women actually i think your, your first thing is when a woman comes to talk about like yes. sexual harassment yes, should be yes, to support yes. that because honestly it's a traumatizing yes. experience yes. so it's just something like listen first easy. before you start it's not, not all men in. <laughs> <laughs> so um so then let's talk about women supporting <laughs> themselves yeah because there's a general uh, consensus that women are ag supposed to be against each other or they are constantly against each, each other. other yeah it's well no my i don't know well it is <laughs> like very yes yeah, like, yeah exactly i can't <laughs> really because it's a topic that i'm always like okay 
women are a lot more complex and the way we've been brought up mm -hmm. like right from right from when we, um, like when we're little mm -hmm. you will hear um maybe sometimes people around us tell us that oh how will you sit in how will yeah. you stay in your husband's house if you're acting like this mm -hmm. oh, Behave all those type of thing that you yes. they'll liken you to someone so those else that actually breed yes, like a you, form of enemy. Yes, and you hatred. start to think that okay, how is Bola behaving? Then you start thinking, okay, is Bola or somebody you're supposed to be competing against? There's a com generally there's that mentality teacher that women should be competing with each other. And I always say this: I do, anytime I get an opportunity to talk about like the importance of female friendships, mm. there's oh. nothing, there's oh. nothing that compares to having like solid female friends. Be because okay. and one thing to point out is also that most times you get the energy that you yeah. give out. That's what you receive. Yeah. A lot of women yeah. are, or some women, <laughs> some women are not like they are toxic. They're not transparent. They're not supporting your friends, and then you are saying like you can't make any solid female mm. friendships. How are you supposed to make those friendships if? You're not being like a good positive friend and all of that. The only thing you know how to do is be negative, say, Oh, this will like and criticize women. Yes, we're so yeah, we, we criticize each other so much. Yes. Like you we don't give this, lot. Yes, 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 yes. We don't give we don't give each other like this leeway. Like, yes, to do some things. Like we make mistakes often. We hold ourselves to like higher standards. And as soon as we drop, we just cut each other off. Yeah. We don't give no second chances. But with our male friends, you find out that ah men are supposed to behave like this. So you just let it go. We overlook mm -hmm. it, we forgive them over and over and over again. But with but with our female friendships, mm -hmm. it's just like if you don't fuck up, you are, you are out. That type of shit. I wish we we'll just extend this to our female friendships and we we'll, we we'll, we we'll just help each other more because it's ah. It's really hard, honestly. Doing yes. this life thing alone, like with men. Yes, without female without friends. Without female friends. Yeah, missing out. Uh, to be honest, uh, because you don't know the kind of support system that you're missing out on. Is that your my babe now? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's true. Uh, to Boy, it's true now. Yeah, it's, it's true. true. Uh, because uh, there's something that men cannot understand. Can Even if they honestly, can relate to it. I, the way what, women so are much. brought up. It's different from entirely different from the women are brought up. So the standards that women are held is only a fellow woman that can even understand your struggles. That's why most times when you're talking about even feminism, mm -hmm. you see that a lot of men they find difficult to relate it because it's mm -hmm. not their reality. Mm -hmm. But with women, like it's something you've experienced. So you guys can like should be everybody should just like let's lean on your fellow women and let's stop saying it. Like I I feel like when you constantly say that women make I bad mean, friends, yeah. women. Even what if it's is. not happening, like mm. you'll be seeing, you start seeing things that like don't exist basically. Because honestly, I have the best female friends. <laughs> Let's go. So another important thing is um, the mentality that you have to be a certain that only certain types of women can be feminist. Every woman, any woman, can be a feminist. Mm. That's also why I'm very big on like yes. I'm not like sometimes most feminism you learn is like you learn it all lot more from your experiences yes. rather than from reading books yes for as for women because men they say they can't relate most of this experience mm. so please go and read your books <laughs> but for women <laughs> just, women so it, it is not like it's not limited to oh like i have to be a c you have mm. to be career oriented you can mm. be anything mm. <laughs> sometimes you just want to relax yeah and be a feminist you just want to live your lifestyle you don't have to be like Top notch, this, 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 like, no. And I would like, like to chip in the fact that uh, you don't have to be an orator to be yes. a feminist. Like, you don't have to be well spoken. Sometimes um, we make this mistake and try to belittle people that they are maybe they don't speak so well or they so do they not attain know. some sort of level. So they can't, so they can't what yeah, they don't know what feminism is. When even in their action, you can tell that you no, know, this this particular person is all for women. Mm -hmm. So we need to like understand that see, regardless of your educational background, regardless your of your career, mm -hmm. regardless of how you grew up, that you can be a feminist and you can and you can thrive wherever you find yourself. Yes. So now let's move on to um how we can support women like official like organizations that, that, can that yes yes donate so that I can support, support their, their yes. activities yes okay so do you know of any any there stands to end rape okay document women yes <laughs> there's one tears nigeria i can't remember what you for okay 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 but, but you find them on like major they have they have a web they have websites yes, yes websites twitter they have, they're on twitter they're very active on twitter yeah. And I don't, I don't know, know about Instagram, know about Instagram <laughs> though, but would actually add their um their links to their links profile. to their profiles and 
their social media pages. So mm -hmm. if you want to like support me, if you need to donate to a cause. Also, if you have like can. maybe sexual harassment issues, I think you can reach yes. out to some of these people. Yes. If they are yeah. like some yeah. stand to end rape. rape. Yes. They take up sexual harassment issues, rape and the likes. They take it up and they follow through with it. They have lawyers certified. Is it certified? <laughs> Certified lawyers. Yeah, yeah, okay, I was not sure. They have certified lawyers to help you take on the case. And please don't be shy to come at, like when you're ready. Yes. If you want to talk about yeah. whatever it is you're going through, please reach out to like the proper people. Don't just talk to um reach out to no no, I mean proper organization like stand to end rape. You can't just um go and meet this um police. For example, <laughs> <laughs> this should, now you can't go yeah, to the police station and talk about Nigeria, this is what I experienced. They will send you out of the place, yeah. to be honest. So please reach out, reach out to credible organization and talk. And please have like if you have friends that you can talk, trusted people that you can talk to about this issue. Thank you for following us through this journey of feminism. We hope you've learned a lot and don't forget that you can be feminist in any way that you choose to be. As far as the central point is, like you're fighting for the equality of women. You don't have to be a CEO. You don't mm -hmm. have to be a rich woman. Mm -hmm. you, can, you don't have to be educated to be a feminist. Yeah. And with this, <laughs> we end this series. And we hope that you like, you subscribe, you share with your friends. And you follow up, you turn on your notification button. And you stay tuned for our next series. Thank you. Welcome to Jero Couture. At Jero Couture, we are beyond a fashion brand. We are out to make a fashion statement for every lady out there in the corporate world. We bring to you mild yet sophisticated in decent outfits that you can wear to work and still feel very African in it and still make your fashion statement. At Jero Couture, we are providing one, premium African prints, two, we are providing luxurious ready-to-wear fashion brand, three, we are providing decent yet elegant wears, and four, we are providing the African standard measurement as against the European or the Asian standard measurements for the African woman. We are beyond the fashion brand. We are all about making a fashion statement that says, as you're European and proud, or even Asian and proud, we are equally African and proud. <laughs>